So for this project, I picked up this 2000 Ford Explorer for $2,200. And since we're doing things cosmetically, it really didn't have to be in the best shape to begin with. Now to get started with prepping, the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all that side stripping because it's falling apart. And then we're gonna take off the roof rack so we can get ready to paint the top. I don't, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what this goes to. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna take off is the black baseboard. I'm gonna leave the gray part so I can spray it yellow and then put the black back on. Now that we got the entire car cleaned off, I'm gonna start working on the stencil for the hood stripes. I'm gonna be taping down this clear vinyl on half the hood that I got for $10 on Amazon and... I really need to get a garage. <laughs> It wasn't supposed to be windy today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna tape off half the hood. That way I can mirror it on both sides. After I'm done tracing it out, I'm gonna cut out the positives and trace it onto this. That way I can lay this vinyl onto the hood and I can get a really good trace out of it. Now, in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be using these pictures as a reference that I got on jpmotorpool.com. Hopefully it doesn't turn out terribly. Okay, now I'm gonna start sanding so I can get ready for the primer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 80 grit, get all the really big pieces off, like the trim and everything like that. Make sure I get all the grime and crap off, that way I can get it sanded down using like a 240 grit a little bit later on, especially on this chrome, because the chrome's gonna be a big pain in the butt. I gotta do that right. Lastly for the prep, I'm going to tape everything up, spending $20 on tape and $13 on paint paper. Now that we're ready for primer, what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, Uricam Oxy Stick. It's $170 from the coating store. Uh, it gets here in like three days, which is awesome. We're going to mix it together. It is a one-to-one -one ratio, so the one gallon uh, does turn into two gallons overall, which is what we're going to need to coat the entire car because the entire car is very large. So for this, I'm going to use a 1.8 nozzle for this because it needs a higher flow rate just because it gets really sticky and all that stuff. Um, I'm using a 3M because they're interchangeable and if it clogs up, I can just change it right out. No mess, easy to clean up. I'm going to spray four coats, letting it sit about 20 minutes in between each coat, only adding a bit at a time to keep the primer from running. By the end, it should look like a nice thick coat like this. Wait at least two hours before attempting to paint. And the total cost of the prep and primer was $238. The labor was just about seven hours. These are all cat paw prints all over the car. Everywhere. Everywhere you can stand on, there's paw prints. The paint scheme has three different colors and you can get the most accurate option available from Sherwin-Williams. Those colors are red 42147, green 39686, and yellow 50148. Since my perfect color was on back order and I wasn't paying $400 per gallon, I went with Eastwood to source my paint. The first paint being Ford Candy Apple Red for $170 a gallon. This gets a mix of 3 to 1 with the activator and that applies to all the paints. For the nozzle, I changed to the smaller 1.3. Now I'm going to show you the way I layered the paint. Spoiler, I did it wrong. More on that later. I'm only going to lay down the red where it will be covered later on for the stripes and taking my time between coats. I'm doing three coats of 20 minutes in between because for some reason it's 70 degrees in Florida and I picked the activator for the seventh layer of time. I'm leaving it to sit overnight since it's so cold out and I want it to fully cure before taping it off for the next color. Before spraying down the yellow, I'm going to put down the stencil first to keep it from getting contaminated. While I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you about today's sponsor, Seika Sportswear. If you live an active life, try Seika's bamboo woven technology that is four times as absorbent as cotton sportswear. Seika offers ankle and wristbands, sports hats, beanies, and my favorite, the sunglasses. Go to Seika.com and use CTP15 for 15% at checkout. Next, we have Lemonhead Yellow for $147. I like my paint shaken, not stirred. No. Decided to go red, yellow, however, I think I should have done the red last because it really overpowers everything and I tried to spray over it and I just made it messy. And my last favorite name for a color, Goblin Green for $142. Keep the green from getting into the yellow, I'm going to tape it off. Because I did the red first, it's taking twice as many coats of green to cover it, which is leading it to become a darker green. Do 
the green first. After waiting about five hours, I get to do the most satisfying part, pulling the stencil off. Now that we got the rest of the car untaped, I'm gonna do the best part, the hood. Yeah, definitely could have made these thinner. And also definitely should have put the green down first. Lastly, the decals. I got these from the great people over at Prime Vinyl for $123. Check out their Instagram and tell them that I sent you. In the end, you should expect about, in the end, you should, in the end, in the end, you should expect to set aside about four days, especially if you're outside like me, where the weather is always changing. And for $3,200, this wasn't that bad, especially since our budget was about $4,000. If this was helpful and you tried it out yourself, please tag me on Instagram at CTR underscore project. I love to see how it ended up for you.